Indonesia has slipped into recession for the first time in more than 20 years. A Q3 GDP shrank 3.5% from last year. And the pandemic has battered consumption and business activity. But the finance minister says the worst is over. And for more, we speak to Chani Bhavani. She is live for us in Jakarta. Chani, which sectors have been worst hit? Well, according to the Central Statistics Pardon me, the Central Statistics Agency, the deepest growth contractions were seen in sectors like transportation and logistics down by about 17% from last year with air and train travel nosediving as authorities suspend non-essential services and close offices to contain the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, on the expenditure side, almost all components saw a contraction, um, exports of goods and services taking the biggest hit down, down by about 7.5%. 7, now, we also have activity in the hospitality sector uh, taking a sharp decline at 12% as people stay home and opt to eat in instead of dining out. And with that, we have household consumption, which accounts for more than half of the economy uh, still under pressure as well. Yeah, and uh, also the finance minister is optimistic that uh, things can only get better from here. What's your take on that? That's right. Finance Minister Sri Mulyani Indrawati did tell journalists that the worst is over and she uh, attributed her statement to a sharp rebound in the quarterly GDP uh, in the July to September period. Now, she explained that when looking at the Indonesian economy and comparing the second quarter of this year, where GDP was minus 5.32%, the, the economic contraction uh, showed improvement, and she believes that the Indonesian economy is certainly heading towards a positive zone. Now, according to uh, the finance minister, this improvement in economic conditions is driven uh, by fiscal stimulus in handling the pandemic, as well as the National Economic Recovery Program. Uh, there's also the absorption of uh, government budget spending, which is believed to help move the economy along.